Hello and welcome to 1% Club TV. I'm your host, Jason O'Neill, coming to you from Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here with Jeremy Rosati, 1% Basketball Club owner and founder, as he'll be running one of the best basketball teams in the nation through a series of rigorous workouts and a series of drills. Let's check out and see what he has in store for a team that features the number one basketball player in the country. We're here with Roscoe Allen. Roscoe, so we know for the year, everybody's team goal is going to be winning state. You guys won two years in a row, freshman and sophomore years. For personally, though, what kind of goals do you have? We know the team goals. What kind of goals do you have for you personally this year? I just improve. Just uh, get better in a lot of ways. Just improve my body, improve my skills, and uh, try to get my team as many wins as possible. Now, Jeremy had you guys running through some more athletic drills, not as much basketball, you know, holding the basketball type of thing. How important do you think it is to really maintain your athletic uh, athleticness going forward? Oh, definitely. Just uh, maintaining my athleticism, just improving on that. Uh, agility, definitely just improving on uh, moving laterally, and just quickness, everything like that. Definitely helps. With a lot of the drills you had working on here today, do you think that's going to really help you move to the next level? For instance, the velocity bands and really kind of pushing yourself past what he was saying, overload point. Do you think that that's going to help you at that next level? Definitely. definitely. I've never worked like that before. I've never had a band pull me back before, so it's definitely different. And I definitely felt it, so it was a good workout. Thank you. Thank you. Here with Ben Carter. Uh, what do you play? Power forward? Power forward. Yeah. Power forward for the Bishop Gorman basketball team. So Ben, I heard an interview you did where you said that you met Magic Johnson when you were younger and that your friends was actually, uh, or that your dad was actually friends with Magic. Now, how does your dad know Magic Johnson? I guess he met him overseas when he played in Israel. He, uh, I guess Magic was over there or something. I, I don't remember really the story, but my brother's got pictures with him. I've, I've, I've seen all the pictures. I met him actually when he came to Vegas. So it's, I don't know how they're friends, but I know they're friends. Nice. So you come from an athletic family. Your dad played overseas. How important do you think it is to really kind of stretch yourself the way Jeremy was stretching you guys out here today when you know that at that next level you're going to face bigger, stronger, more athletically fit athletes? Uh, I mean, it's definitely important. I mean, at the next level, it, gets only, it only gets harder. So we try to push ourselves as much as we can when we're here and put the work in so we're prepared for the next level. Now, how long have you known uh, Roscoe and Shabazz? Uh, Roscoe, I probably know since my seventh grade year. Shabazz is more of a local kid since Roscoe moved from uh, Hungary. Uh, I know Shabazz, I mean, probably since like fifth grade. We've all been playing against each other since we were young. Now, do you think that there's going to be any extra pressure for you guys this coming year, knowing that this is the last time you guys are going to play together? Like, there ain't no more AAU this summer. This is really going to be the last chance you guys get to play as a unit. Uh, Roscoe's already signed for Stanford. We don't know where you or Shabazz is going to go. Do you think that's going to put any extra pressure on you? Uh, I don't know about pressure. I mean, we're all excited for the season. We're all excited to see what, what we can do as a team. And last year, we got disappointed. We, were, we didn't win it all. Uh, we won the state championship like we wanted to. But, but definitely, I mean, we're excited. I don't know so much about about pressure, but uh, kind of anxious for the season to start. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you. Center, all righty, perfect. We're here with Demetrius Morant, center on the Bishop Gorman basketball team. Demetrius, you recently committed to UNLV. Now, you didn't grow up out here in Las Vegas, but you've chosen to stay out here. What was it that about this area that made you decide to stay out here? Um, the environment, like, I got a lot of people out here helping me and everything, and I think I can get real good just staying out here with these guys who's been helping me over the last year. Now, with that, with some of the drills that uh, Jeremy had you guys running through, how did you feel that those uh, were worked for you? Was that anything that you had ever done before, getting pulled by a band or trying to work on your hand uh, coordination with catching a tennis ball? Was that anything you had ever worked on? And do you think that's going to give you any benefit moving forward? To tell you the truth, I never worked on that, but I think if I keep on working on that, it'll make me maybe a three in college or a four. Absolutely, absolutely. And now moving into college, are you going to be looking to kind of downsize, maybe play the three and four a little bit more? Yeah, I want to because I got the athleticism and I just need to work on my handles. And you, I mean, just looking at you out here, your stroke looked pretty nice. That's probably not something you need to work on. But the athleticism that kind of Jeremy was was helping out with, it's just the explosiveness and just kind of the crossovers and things of that nature. Do you think that that's something that you'll be keep moving on and working towards? Or is that just kind of a one type thing? One type um, I think I'll keep working towards it because I really want to get to the NBA. And I think doing drills can make me a pro player. Absolutely. And I, I know everybody else knows to get to the NBA, you really have to be kind of an upper level athlete, not just a really good basketball player. Is that something that you're cognizant of and you know that you need to work on getting bigger, stronger, and faster? Yeah, I know I need to get bigger. Faster? I think I'm already there. Okay. I can jump real high right now, so the only thing I really need to work on is my 
weight. Body strength. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with Ron Holmes, Shabazz Muhammad's father. Uh, Ron, how do you feel Jeremy's workout will really benefit Shabazz moving forward? And what have you seen from your son in his development from a young age to now? Well, I think uh, Jeremy's program is really good and will be really beneficial for him just from what I saw today. Uh, we, I'm going to be in constant contact with Jeremy, uh, helping with the development of Shabazz. And Shabazz has come a long way since his freshman year. Uh, you know, he works hard. He's uh, gotten his skill set pretty good. So we're just trying to, you know, continue to do that on that path and see where it takes him. Now, we all know to get to that upper level, that elite level NBA, you actually have to be a world-class athlete as well as a really good basketball player. Do you think that Jeremy's techniques will actually help improve Shabazz's kind of athleticism, strength, body build, things of that nature? Using the bands and the things that he was uh, working with today, I think, yes, a lot of, like talking about overloading uh, to get you stronger and to get you more explosive, I definitely feel that uh, it would be be definitely beneficial for him, yes. And Bishop Gorman, just their, their year this year, they actually are going to be doing a lot of traveling. Do, do you think that they're going to have to work on kind of conditioning almost as much as the basketball skills, kind of with their schedule the way it is in a lot of traveling? Definitely going to have to work on the conditioning. You want to always be in great shape. You want to have good technique. Uh, so Coach Rice inviting Jeremy down here I think was a good, st uh, a good step in that. And I read recently that you guys were just out at USC doing a campus visit. How did that go? It went well. Went well. Went to watch the football game. Uh, I went to USC, so I'm a Trojan, and uh, so we lost the game. So that wasn't uh, I wasn't happy about that. But it was a good game, great atmosphere, and it was a good visit. All righty. Thank you very much. We're here with Shabazz Muhammad, shooting guard on the Bishop Gorman basketball team, and according to ESPN, the number one high school basketball player in the country. So Shabazz, you were obviously blessed with some basketball talent. How important do you think it is to get to the highest level, to have, not only be a basketball player, but also to be a world-class athlete? And with some of the drills that Jeremy was running through you here today, do you think that it's going to give you any kind of benefit in working towards that? Um, oh man, I was really surprised by the uh, stuff he was doing. I mean, uh, some stuff I've never seen before. and. And looking a little awkward doing it the first time, but I can definitely see the change in my game just doing it off the first time. So I imagine coming down there and doing it, and I was really impressed. Now, I personally believe the difference between, let's say, a Division I basketball player and an NBA player, athletically, is not a huge difference. It's really the mindset and the will to get better. Do you feel as though that's something that you strive to achieve, that you, you're not comfortable resting on your laurels? And for instance, even in a drills like this where you were maybe a little bit uncomfortable, you still give it your all? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I haven't proved nothing yet. I'm, um, I know I'm number one high school player in the country, but I'm looking to be on the highest level and, and, uh, and one day be in the NBA and, and uh, just play hard and I was just trying to go through these drills as hard as I can and, and uh, just learn a lot and, and uh, learn from all this stuff and, and it was a really great opportunity for me. So reading up on your team last year or I guess last night it seemed like there was a lot of parallels between your team last year and the Los Angeles Lakers. You guys were both two-time defending champions. You guys both lost in the semifinals. Now the role that you would play on this team would probably be of a Kobe Bryant. I've noticed Kobe Bryant a lot of times will embrace his younger teammates. Trevor Reason in the past. Uh, Devin Ebanks this last year. Do you think that that's something important team leaders have to do and is that something you look to embrace as well? Oh absolutely. That's something I embrace. Um, um, Kobe's my favorite player. I'll, I watch him all the time, watch his tapes and stuff. But um, I think it's a great, great thing to do and lead and all these young guys we have. And I know I'm going off to college next year, so I want to keep this program going. So just lead all these younger guys and, and, and have them strive for the best. And, and that would be a great thing for them also. So I asked Ben Carter a little bit earlier if you guys were going to feel any more pressure this year, knowing that this is kind of the last time you guys are going to get to play together, you, Ben, and Roscoe. And with you guys all kind of being a local products, does that add any pressure to winning state and making sure you finish this out the right way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's going to be our last year's playing together. Um, I love playing with Ben and Roscoe. I mean, they're good They're good players for me and uh, compliment me on the floor. And uh, I'm just happy to play with those guys and uh, go really going to make this year a good one with them. Thank you very much. You still with the Dodgers, right? I can call you the Dodgers first baseman. Hey, I'm not a first baseman. I'm an outfielder. Oh, outfielder? Ah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's all good. I don't uh, know I, too much about baseball. It's all good. That's how I like it. I know a little bit. I know a little bit. Come on, Jay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, oh, okay. about baseball, man. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> All right. We're here with Matt Camp, Dodgers outfielder. Matt, what you, we're at Bishop Gorman High School. We just saw Jeremy Rosati run the Bishop Gorman basketball team through a workout. Uh, what are you out here doing, and who are you out here supporting? Uh, well, one of my good friends, his name is Noah, uh, is, is really good friends with uh, Shabazz. And, uh, you know, I just came out here to check the, the best player of the nation out, see what he's gotten, man. He's, he's pretty impressive, man, pretty impressive. 
And are you you just on break? You had a free day, and you, you figure you come out and well, take I was a. Out here, out here in Vegas, you know, chilling with some of my boys, and uh, you know, we decided to come to the to the basketball practice and see what was going on, and uh, you know, here I am right now. And, and you're actually one of the few athletes in America that has a finite summer off, where everybody else seems to have a lockout after their summer yeah, off. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty blessed, man. We got a, we got a pretty good union, so uh, we they, they they keep us on the field when the season's going on. You know, it's an unfortunate situation that uh that the lockout is going on at this moment because uh you know during the off season I'm I'm the one that's you know at all the basketball games you know and and getting it in. But uh, right now I'm a little lost without my my NBA. All right, well, we're just catching up with Matt Kim. Matt, thank you very much. We're here with Grant Rice, head coach of Bishop Gorman's basketball team. Um, coach Rice, this year you guys have four of the top seniors in the state, according to ESPN. Now, I know high school kids in general can have a fairly high opinion of themselves sure. in general. Uh, when you started coaching high school basketball, did you imagine juggling egos was something that you were going to have to undertake? And do you think that that's something that you might have to ch uh, tackle this year? Well, definitely. We are, uh, we are tackling uh, when you have talented kids. You know, uh, definitely there's a lot that goes along with that. So um, the more talent, you know how they say, more, more talent, sometimes there are some more issues. But, you know, the good thing is we have good kids. And they all have the same goal. You know, they all want to get to college, uh, and, and all of them will get college scholarships, Division One scholarships. But they also want to win in high school, and they want to leave something special here at Bishop Gorman. I was asking Ben Carter and Shabazz a little bit earlier. This is going to be the last chance they really get to play together. They're not going to have AAU this coming summer. This is really it for them. And I was asking them if it added to their pressure. Do you think it's going to add any pressure to the team, knowing that they want to go out and win state the right way? There's always a little bit of pressure, but you know they've been playing so much. Uh, you know, with AAU basketball and then working out here at Bishop Gorman that, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think so. Once the game starts and uh, once we get going with real practice, uh, you know, there's always going to be some pressure, but they, they'll be up for it. They'll be ready for that. All right. Give, give me a credit card. So, Coach Rice, your schedule for this upcoming season is extremely challenging, both in level of competition and in the amount of travel you guys are going to have to do. How important do you think conditioning and fitness training is going to play in this season versus just normal kind of X's and O's basketball. Oh, it's it's definitely a good split. You know, actually more important than the X's and O's. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna play basketball the right way, but you know, when when you have the players that we have, um, you know, we're also gonna let them go, and, and we know they need to be in uh, prime physical shape. And we're getting in the weight room three or four days a week. We got a great strength coach here, at Bishop Gorman, uh, Coach Sean Manuel, who's getting after it, and uh, and, and they're really taking advantage of that. And then uh, we're also getting uh, running in. We're out on the track a couple times a week right now in the preseason we're also getting some running in uh, in the gym so we're definitely gonna be in good shape you know when the time is right and was that something you were cognizant of when you saw the schedule and you saw you were gonna be going to Maryland going to South Carolina things did you know that ahead of time we're gonna have to make sure we're in prime pristine condition without a doubt yeah this is one of those years where we've got to be ready uh, we can't peak in December you know we want to be good in December but we want that to last through January and February as well with the schedule we have so definitely don't want the guys to be too high in December and then you know to fade out towards the end we got to keep it steady and, and continue to rise a little bit absolutely thank you very much Coach we're here with Steven Zimmerman freshman center and power forward on the Bishop Gorman basketball team Steven I read recently that over the summer you were playing with or against some of the best big men in the country with Isaiah Austin and against Andre German and with good reason you weren't dominating the way you're accustomed to with the schedule you guys have going into this year are you looking forward to try and show that you can play with anybody no matter how old you are yeah I'm definitely trying to make a make a mark here uh, I'm just going to do my best and hopefully my team will you know will get really far we just ran a run out, we just ran a workout with Jeremy Rosati of the one percent basketball club how do you think that workout will benefit you moving forward getting you bigger and stronger things of that nature well, that's a great workout I, I'm definitely trying to do some of that stuff on my own you know I, I want to get in the program and everything it seems pretty good have you ever worked with anything like the velocity bands where you're really kind of learning a technique and then overloading on that technique as well a little bit but not like that it's been yeah, it was a real good workout and then Stephen what kind of personal goals we know that the team's goals is going to be to win state what kind of personal goals do you have for yourself this year just to get better and get how far I can just, yeah. As far as getting better, do you want to work on low post moves? Do you want to work on getting stronger? Do you want to work on maybe a mid-range game? What are you looking at? Uh, definitely getting more aggressive and uh, my ball handling a lot. All righty. Thank you very much. We're here with Jeremy Rosati, 1% Basketball Club owner and founder. Jeremy, we just ran the Bishop Gorman Gales through a pretty good workout. How do you feel it went? Oh, phenomenal, man. Probably one of the best workouts I've ever done. Um, I think... The synergy just worked, the atmosphere worked, the players bought in. Uh, 
uh, definitely top three workouts I've ever had. This is by far the classiest high school program I've ever been a part of. Uh, these guys can really play. They worked hard, and uh, hopefully they picked up a lot. I think, they, I think they really did. The last time we talked to you, you said that the main thing with these type of workouts is effort and the people actually buying in. You were saying that it seemed like a lot of the kids out there were buying in today. How do you feel that went as well? Uh, no doubt. Uh, we work out a lot of kids, and you know, a lot of time we don't get even a thank you uh, when we work out kids, and uh, every single kid was very thankful. Uh, the best player was the hardest working kid out there. Uh, you got the young freshman working his tail off. Uh, you can see there's a lot of tradition here, and uh, this program's going nowhere. Uh, this, this program is unbelievable. Great coach. Coach Rice is one of the classiest gentlemen I've ever met. Um, I can't see anything uh, happening but the top for this program. And continuing with that, you were saying that the best player, obviously, Shabazz Muhammad, was buying in just as much as everybody else. He was working just as hard. What did you see working really closely with one of the best basketball players in the country? Uh, I think it's great. Um, that's why I train. Uh, I want to train the best players in the world. Uh, if it means high school, college, pro, NBA, uh, that's what I train for. That's what I live for. Uh, it gets me excited. It gets me pumped. Uh, it's great to see a player buy in, asking questions, the parents asking questions. Uh, I'm pumped, man. I just want to get back in the gym and, and get a player like him in the summer program and, and see how far a player like that can become. There you go. Thank you very much, Jeremy.